And of course, if you want some fun, go check out the rather magnificent Astana Kazakhstan rep video with a cameo, of course, of a rapping Alexei Lutsenko. I don't think you want to miss that. This is the decisive moment in the race as we have a little summary here of this first edition of the Classica Jaén Pariso Interior with uh, a lot of red there, a lot of red of Arkea Samsi and Lotus Sudal as well. But a man in blue was uh, clearly the strongest in the race. We started off with a breakaway, including American Chet Hager from the uh, Human Powered Health Team, the uh, 33-year-old from Texas. But uh, when we hit the final three sectors, they were overtaken by a group with a very strong uh, Alexei Lutsenko. Tim Bellens, she, he, she, he tried to stay with Lutsenko, but it was uh, quite clear from the go that uh, there was one who was the strongest here. Smallest gear possible there for the young man, Igor Arieta, 90 years of age. On disc brakes this time, they don't always have disc brakes with the, uh, the people can farm a team. But today they do on the uh, Strade Bianche and then the decisive attack by Lutsenko. The peloton is out of sight. The uh, spots amongst others, Miguel Angel Lopez Moreno, Johan Jacobs. And these riders, they uh, try to bridge to uh, the front, but uh, they are just out of reach there with the Danish rider Andreas Krohn. Lovely views here of Ubeda with the uh, church. And on the sixth of seven sectors, Alexei Lutsenko left everybody behind and these four riders with uh, Tim Vellens, Lennart Kemna, Loic Vlieger, and also Connor Swift. Uh, tried in vain to stay with him. After the fifth stage, after the fifth stretch of gravel, because that is where we are now, Alexei Lutsenko saw Kemna and Bellens join him. Found a little bit of uh, room and a little bit of recovery in the wheels there. But as, as we hit the sixth sector, he left uh, this group behind, the group with Bellens, Vlieger, Thibaut Ferras, Connor Swift and uh, Lennart Kemna. Through the sea of olives there. They won't really be impressed by the five million olive trees here. Neither will Alexei Lutsenko, although he gets a rather shiny olive trophy to boost and to take home to Monaco. Because that's where he's living. I don't know if this is already the last lap and the last kilometer of this little summary. Kind of ditch uh, a little bit of uh, weight there on the final kilometer into the city center of Ubeda onto the uh, Plaza Vasquez de Molina. We still have another lap to go, another 20 kilometers to go on the Tramo de Sierra on the gravel, uh, gravel sectors here. Seven in total, 40 kilometers of the 190 and a total of 3,100 meters of elevation to go. And this is the finish then for Alexei Lutsenko. Pro win number 30. And only his second in Spain after winning a stage in the Vuelta in 2017. And that was also on a super, super steep hill in Alcocebre. So, uh, well, we can call him uh, the specialist in that. Maybe he can do well in Flash Wallon one day. It's on its roster this year, that's for sure. Waiting for the top 10 of the race before we leave you here on a GCN Racing. Brian, race is here to stay. Definitely, I think.